Hello my geeky guys and gals, hope you're all doing, hope you're all doing well, even if I can finish my sentences right, <laughs> as you can tell I'm not. Uh, this is going to be a little quick video for you, uh, crapware, we all love it, we all want it, we all intend to download it, don't we, yeah. While I was doing my last encoding of grid for my last video, I was perusing ye olde YouTube just to pass time away and I came across this channel, Dano Oct One. As you can tell by the title on there, he deals with vintage computers and viruses and trojans and more. And on one of his videos, I can't remember which one it was, so I, I can't find out which one it is and show you, but there was a piece of software on there that was called Free CUDA Movie Converter. Now CUDA, if you're tech savvy, is a technology used by NVIDIA in their graphics cards to render 3D objects for your gaming environment. Uh, NVIDIA, not NVIDIA, sorry, AMD have got a similar technology themselves as well. I can't remember what they're called because I never used an AMD graphics card. I'm sure you'd do if you have it, but there you go. Comment if it, below if you do know. But um, what surprised me was is the converter being free and supposedly was able to access CUDA to reconvert video six times faster for a free program. I thought, hmm, sounds a bit fishy. So I downloaded it and I had a look. And I can tell you right now it doesn't. It's a piece of shit, hence crapware. And I can tell you the reason why. I can actually show you the reason why, actually. I've got GPU temp here, which, as the name suggests, it monitors the temperatures of my graphics cards. I've got two because I've got two cards in SLI mode here. So you can see there it monitors temperatures, but also it monitors the load on each core as well. Now that one here where you see averaging 16, 17%, that's the one that's got my monitor attached to it. So obviously that's going to do the most work. And this one's just sat there twiddling its thumbs, wondering what the hell it's doing. Now, as they are in SLI mode, every all the memory it's used is shared between them. So these two values will obviously remain the same. Now, just to make sure to show you that the program does well. Oh, so another thing to show you, I've got core temp as well, which deals with CPU temperatures as well. But as well, you can also tell it's got load time uh, load percentages for each core as well to help you monitor cpu loading as well not loading well monitoring you know what i mean so first and foremost just to show you that these programs do work for monitoring i've got this uni engine valley benchmark program which does um, 3d benchmarking a little bit similar to 3d mark it gives a score afterwards so I'll just give you a quick run for you. I'm not going to run the benchmark. I'm just going to let it render the 3D scene. And once it comes up, you'll see the GPU core on core one rocket right up to 99%, even though the second one doesn't does naff anyway. But it'll show you that the program does work. Here we go. 11, 30, 44, 42. Oh, fuck, I forgot to turn the sound off. I don't. You don't want feedback through a microphone. There we go. Ah, uh, well, yeah. There you go, 90%. Just a little bit quick there. But, yeah, it's now using the 3D engine in the program. Graphics cards being utilised, so you know, GPU temp is properly monitoring my GPUs. So let's shut that one down. Bye. Next, we've got the Zillisoft Video Converter Ultimate. Now this is not a free program, you do have to pay for it if you want it. The unregistered version will still allow you to convert videos, but it will only convert the first three minutes of a video and then just say, nah, you're not going to have the rest of it because you haven't purchased this. Now I've got Grid preloaded into this one to show you that this was the last video that I did before uploading to YouTube. And if I run a very quick conversion, Hopefully it'll work because it paused, it crashed the last couple of times while recording. I don't think it's going to do that. Um, mind you, I don't think I've actually 
set the right type. Um, oh yeah, let's do an MK, MKV, a DivX video. So let's start a conversion into that. That should start um, running it. There we go. So look, it's running now, 0.4%. And look, a GPU core has gone up to 33% there. So Zillisoft is using CUDA to re-render this video. If I stop that, quit that, watch that drop down, 6%. Boom, it's gone down. So Zillisoft does the right thing. It tells you it accesses CUDA, and it does. Brilliant program. No need for that now. So, a uh, free CUDA movie converter. Supposedly, it uses CUDA. <laughs> hey, let's put a grid into it. Let's convert that to... So we're in MP4, I think. Let's convert it to a flash file. Convert. It says converting 0% uh, percent at the moment. Wait for it to go up a bit. I want it to at least go up to 1%. Because look at that, it's still showing 17, 18 averaging. Right, it's gone up to 1%. That is still at 16 to 70%. 2%. Right, let's cancel it. And look, look at the load on my first call. When I do anything, it always goes to 16, 17, 18 percent on average use. If I leave it and don't do anything, it'll drop down to 1 to 2 percent, something like that. Don't believe me? Let's try it again, shall we? Let's start again. Let's go back to grid. So if we look at it here, 17, 18 percent. Let's keep the um, core temp up as well so you can see the percentage load, load on that. Let's try and flash convert it again. Now you notice that the load on the CPU has gone up, but not the GPU. This free CUDA movie maker does not do what it says on the tin. Grant it does do what it says it can do in regarding converting videos for you but because I've got Zillisoft as well anyway and it does a far better job and it does actually access CUDA it's a whole lot better I prefer um, Zillisoft a whole lot better than um, this piece of garbage so um, if you do do video editing and you don't have any any money to do any video conversion then I would at least recommend free CUDA movie converter to at least get the job done for you but don't expect lightning fast um, conversion times that it, it claims that it can do because it can't it doesn't access your graphics card it is a liar so with that holy crap on a stick I'll leave you to your thoughts about that. Bye-bye for now.